Hi all! In this video I want to show you how to paint this little puppy in oil paint. So keep watching! As you can see I already painted the base layer in a light green. For the stem of the flower I go in with a more grassy green. This is a mixture of emerald green and viridian. I use a wet on dry technique so the base layer is already completely dried up and now I add a second layer of new wet painting on it. I go in with a little bit of a darker tone so there's more viridian in it and a little bit less of emerald green to create a natural appearing gradual shadow. During the second session I add an even darker tone of green, so almost purely viridian uh, to the stem to enhance that uh, feeling of a gradual shadow. So now I'm painting the cast shadow which is a shadow from one object upon another object. And I also fill in the base form of the flower with the base color. This color is a, a mixture of scarlet and burnt sienna. And as you hopefully can see, the coverage of the paint isn't great. This is probably caused because I used uh, I mixed too much of rectified turpentine with the oil paint. For a lot of paints, you use a medium when painting to make it a little bit thinner, especially for oil paint because yeah, it's really thick and hard to work with. But I added a little bit too much of turpentine. So for some reason I decided to immediately add a second layer of paint. This normally doesn't help that much because oil paint takes a very long time to dry, normally around well two to three days, but for thicker layers even longer and for larger paintings. And for some reason it actually worked.
During the third session, I add a second reddish color uh, onto the base layer of the flower. This is a more orangey red and a mixture of vermilion and scarlet. As you can see, I don't just like cover the whole uh, red base layer of the flower with vermilion. I only uh, lighten up the parts that are indeed a brighter color or a little bit more orange in the reference. During the fourth session I add the highlights of the flower. I make these highlights with a mixture of scarlet, vermilion and white. Or as it is called, titanium white. Here I even go in with pure titanium white to create the brightest highlights. During the fifth session I add the shadows in the flower. So between the petals. I use carbon black for this, which a lot of people will frown upon because normally you don't simply use black to create shadows. However, these shadows are so dark that black is basically the only like realistic color. Later on I will also use a mixture of burnt sienna and scarlet to create lighter shadows and to make the shadows like more gradually go from no shadow to deep shadow. So here I'm using uh, the mixture of burnt sienna and scarlet already.
In the last session I paint the part uh, of the pistol. For this I use a bluish grey uh, color. For the details I am using a wet in wet technique to uh, soften the lines. So now I paint over a still wet uh, layer of paint. The little dots I'm painting now are representing the anthers, are they called? Stamen or anther. Both would be correct. So after a few days of drying, it's time to varnish the painting. Make sure that the bowl in which you pour your varnish is clean. I use the Picture Varnish Glossy from Talents to varnish my oil paintings. When varnishing, make sure your brush is saturated but not too saturated, so you don't leave really big bulges of varnish on the sides. You will leave them anyway, and so make sure you remove them. Also make sure that the uh, painting is covered completely in varnish and let it dry for about three days. We're done.